FDB Film Study is sponsored by Happy Valley United. To learn more about how you can support Penn State student athletes and IL opportunities, visit happyvalleyunited.com today. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another for the bloggy. Today we're going to talk about Bo. We're going to talk about the quarterback. We're going to talk about how he opened the game up when Drew Aller came out of the game, and we're going to talk about how the ability to run the ball 18 times straight physically physically ruins a defense you know the drill like subscribe hit comment we love answering questions let's talk about what having a run threat at quarterback does to a defense when Bo entered the game it changed the entire dynamic for Penn State on the ground because Rutgers had to respect him as a runner this simple player here on second nine ten really starts to open the game up this eliminates the ability for the defense to just tee off when you have a running quarterback threat with an offset running back you have to watch the back side. You have an offset back. They're rolling to a cover three look. They're trying to disguise the coverage. All right. They're going to try to disguise this kind of coverage. They're almost like a three one look here. And what you're going to get is you're going to get a quarterback draw. Watch how Bo gets himself, puts himself in a situation and watch his ability to run the ball. Um, he's a lot faster than people give him credit for. I think when we when you watch him play, um, what really intrigued me about his ability to play was the fact that he covered as much ground as he did and that he wasn't afraid to make contact at the point of attack. Watch the easy pass sets, and you can see what they're trying to do here. They're trying to blitz, and they're going to do a, what we call a tackle and stunt. They're going to bring a guy in. They're going to tell the linebacker he's coming through the A-gap, and then the safety's going to fit anything late that comes through. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty easy play design by them. And watch what happens up front. They just get an easy, we call high wall, high wall. You're on the guy at the field. And then you have three for three or four for four. This play was important because it plants the seed that Rutgers has to respect Bo's running ability. Now, we've got trips to the boundary, okay, with a single receiver up top. You have a running back to the boundary as well. Okay, so let's take a look how they're going to do this. Second down and six. All right, very simple. Inside zone, except the only difference is you get a nice little pause by the H back and you get an out route and then you get you get basically blocking here and you get a nice concept. Quarterback's reading this right now. It's very simple. He's reading the apex defender. He sees the squeeze. He pulls it. His next read is this guy right here. This guy decides he's going to play though. He's going to play this. He pulls it and runs. I mean, he has a huge game. Now, again, what does it do? Front side, it holds these guys, and these guys backside can no longer make this play. He pulls it and runs, gets a first down, and second down, and six, and you move the chains. It changes the defense when you are able to do this. Watch it from the backside. You're going to get a solo block here. You're going to get a double team here. You're going to get a double team here. We're reading this guy first, this guy second. Pull read. He squeezes down. He, he feathers in. Quarterback runs. He reads the apex defender. Apex defender stays out, doesn't come at me. I pull and run. It's triple option. When you have the ability to run the ball like this, it physically wears defenses out, and it's it's really fun to watch it. Now you're in a twin set with two running backs, okay? And you're going to get a nice, nice play action RPO look right here. And I want to talk about this. This is a pure play RPO stuff, all right? And so what he does, look what happens. He sees this linebacker sit back in the window because really this was supposed to go to this right here. But he sees the window closed. He hands the ball off. Watch. He hands the ball off. The fake was so good with his hand that the camera guy went out. So if the camera guy goes out, you darn well know that everything else is going out too. So why is this so important? Well, number one, I want to show you this. They get an easy pin block. All right. This is just a wide zone. Okay. Your H back gets the outside backer. And then here comes your running back up top. He has a huge gain. Because one, they're scared that the quarterback has the ability to run, but also the fact that he does such a great job of this fake, it holds everybody on the backside. So here we go. Now we're starting to move the ball a little bit. It's fourth quarter. We got trips to the boundary. Nothing new here. Now we're going to talk about this. Now they've loaded themselves into a double wing or an A set. Offset back, which means you're probably going to read it. Watch what he does. He Look at the fake again. Look at the fake again. This is it. You have the H back in the backfield. You have the safety who sits normally would be fitting. This linebacker would normally be fitting, but their eyes are here. They see it. And now you get your running back one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker who came in the hole late because he saw this right here. Again, the ability for this for this kid, Bo, to be able to make these, these choices and be able to handle this is quite intriguing. He does bring a different element to the game. All right, now you've got a guy out wide. This is an interesting play to me.
This is called the old gift play. All right. They're going to fake the hand. He's going to get a sprint out. You're going to get some form of probably an out route here or a deep concept here. And then this guy is going to run basically a hitch. If we can throw the hitch, we're going to throw it. If not, we just take off and we run this way. And now he high lows the defenders. He sees that they're playing outside, playing high. He tucks the ball and runs. Drew Aller is probably not going to do that. He's going to sit back and probably throw the ball a little bit. Notice how this guy is sprinting because of the run threat. He has nothing he can do. This guy takes this guy takes the underneath. He takes the hook to curl, and now his back is turned. Quarterback sees it. He takes off. Great play selection. Really love his ability to run the ball. Again, another unbalanced formation. Remember, we brought you back to this, okay? Now we're seven rushes for 69 yards. We're unbalanced, meaning this guy right here is ineligible because he's on the line of scrimmage. He's off. He's off. You still have seven guys on the line. So what you're going to get now is you're going to get exactly what we talked about before. You're going to get the zone read. You're going to get the guy into the flat, okay? And what he's going to do is he's going to bluff it again, all right? So, again, now he makes the right read now. Now he makes the right read. He gets this thing off. This guy comes up the field to take the quarterback. And now you've got the running back with the ball in his hand. But what does that do? Well, one, it slows him down from fitting the run gap. It slows the defensive end. And the backside safety who's rolled down has to stay back. And now it lets your running backs have an opportunity to be successful because of what's happening on the back end with the ability for the quarterback to pull and run the ball. Okay, later on in the game, let's talk about this one. Now you got a, you got trips to the field with a nub tied in. So as you can see what they're doing right now, this is the old buck sweep, right? All right, we talked about before. They're going to pin everything in. They're going to pin it. They're going to get on the edge. They're going to get around, okay? But what's really important is this. Watch the quarterback's ability to run the ball, and look what it does to this kid. Holds him for a second, okay? Hold, hold, hold. And now because of the threat that's been there, you're now seeing an offensive line who's physically wearing down a defensive line late in the game. This is Big Ten football. This is pounding the rock. Okay, later now. Here we go. 18 straight rush attempts. Here we go. We got trips to the boundary. All right, now you can get zone read again. He's going to toss it off again. So we talked about this place happened before. It's triple option. He reads this guy. He squeezes. He reads this guy. He takes he takes the quarterback. Now I got the edge. Dump it off. And now we got to play in the flat. And now the first, the first passing attempt in 18 plays. Boom. You get a first down. All because of the threat for this guy and the quarterback good running back in that situation. These are the things that win football games. Okay. I want to show it to you from here. It's a really good angle. So watch. He's reading 23. He sees 23 washed down. So he's now going to pull the ball. But watch two. Two knows something's happening, okay? He sees something's happening right here. All right, so what does he do? Well, now he has to make a decision. I'm either taking the flat or I'm taking the quarterback. What does he do? He takes the quarterback because this guy is now a run threat, and that's an easy ball for the quarterback to just drop off. It doesn't have to be a perfect ball. Take it, flip it, throw it, and let your guy go be a guy. This is what changes the football game. When you have the threat to run the ball, even as a quarterback, and you can get down and run the ball for 18 straight plays, you are physically going to wear an opponent out.